daughter who's here in this country, oh yeah, I better get her an individual policy if she doesn't have a pre existing condition and she's not too sick, she found something else wrong with her, I'll get her one. She's only 22 years old. Now, why is this true? Because here in the United States, we have the best health care system in the world. Okay, so does anybody else have a story? Yes, here we go. Oh, I saw her first day. 
What's your name? Janet. This is Janet. Very close to your mouth. We're just talking about. Like Hi. Um, I um, have a story about traveling in Japan. Uh, last year I went to Japan, and uh, the day before I was due to fly home, I developed a phobia. And I wasn't sure whether this was going to be a situation which would develop badly so that I shouldn't fly, or whether I, it wouldn't and I could fly. So we, we, I was in a hotel, I called the concierge, the concierge took me in a cab, this was like 9 o'clock at night, took me in a cab to the nearest hospital, and they examined the hernia, and the, the gentleman there wasn't sure, he thought it was probably alright, he wasn't sure, so he sent me in a cab to another hospital, now it was about 10.30 at night, and they called in a physician who was an expert, I got a CAT scan, they said it was fine, or an MRI, cost me $250. Oh, that's we have the best healthcare in Japan. The <laughs> what country is that? Japan. Japan. <laughs> okay, David? This is David, and he's going to share his story. Right? Hi, David. Hi, David. I don't speak in crowd that much, but uh, my name is David. And I've been living with HIV and AIDS for about 16 years. And um, I have a thing called a donut bowl. Every year it's like $2,800 that I have to pay before my medicines are covered. And if I was a partner and married with a, my husband who would help me pay my bills, I couldn't afford my drugs at the beginning of the year. It's a lot of money and we need to get rid of it and we need to have health care for everybody. Public option now! Public option now! Public to her 